you must get criticized that, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, this, this program. I mean, how do you deal with that, and what's your, what's your answer to that? I mean, there's, there's no perfect answer. With all the doctors here, everybody thinks a little bit differently. I mean, what, what sort of criticism do you get, and how do you answer that? Everyone who's putting new ideas forward, especially really pioneering new ideas like these, has to have a reasonably thick skin. There mm -hmm. will be people who just have knee-jerk reactions, rejecting what one says um, without bothering to actually pay any attention. And, of course, I've had my fair share of that. In fact, I would say I probably had rather more than my fair share of it, to be honest. Uh, but it's actually pretty easy, you know. If one actually does have a solid story and one knows one's stuff, then it's just a matter of repeat advertising, of, rep of you know, patiently explaining where people are going wrong in rejecting one's ideas and, of course, listening to potentially constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a sort of great um, gratification to me that I actually haven't had to significantly adjust the basic plan that I put forward more than a decade ago now in response to criticisms that have come forward. But that doesn't mean that I'm not listening to those criticisms, not at all. It means absolutely that the conversation is about me helping the, the, the critic to understand where I'm coming from and the critic realizing that they were the one who were misunderstanding.